Peter Slimbridge, Hereford manager Peter Beadle, your reflections on the win today? Brilliant, I'm uh, really pleased. It's, uh, it was always going to be tough. Uh, they built it up almost like a cup tie with the things they were talking about before the game, which is fine. Um, and a really difficult pitch. And, and a team that they got, they're enthusiastic, they always are. If you look, there aren't too many teams that, that have beaten by, by more than you know, two, three goals. So they've always, they're always in contention. Um, they're energetic, they work, they work extremely hard. And for us to play like we did, and to, to have a clean sheet and to win the game as comfortably as we have done, I'm really pleased. Just to explain to people who weren't here how sticky the top <laughs> surface was. It's it, like glue. It wasn't so much sticky, it's more, it's more so soft that when you stand in it, you leave a footprint. You know, I mean, I'm a big lad, so obviously I leave a, I leave a bigger footprint. So, but some of the others, obviously, as well, you know, when you walk out, so once you leave that footprint, it stays there. Then when you try and pass the ball through it, it just bobbles everywhere. And I think that was, it wasn't so much it was sticky, it was just so, so bobbly. Um, and, it, and it's, the pitch, as you see, when the ball is cleared, when it bounces, it's flat. So the pitch is dead, there's no life in it. So, so it's really, it is really difficult. Like, you know, keepers' kicks off the floor, any free kicks off the floor, kicking it off a flat pit, a dead pitch is really difficult. So, like I said, so I thought the way we controlled the game and, and at times where we moved the ball was really good, you know, really, really positive. And we're in good form, we look strong, we look fit, you know, we look agile, we've got goals in us. And again, today, we've, we've you know, we've, I think we've probably limited them to, to zero shots, I think. I don't think Alex remember having a shot to save. Had one run. Right at the very end, Tipped the 85th the minute. Yeah, one off the top of the crossbar, bounced over the bar, and one he's had right at the very end. So, like I said, so we're so we're looking we're looking really strong. Results elsewhere have gone obviously in Hereford's favour. 21 points clear. You tell me you're still not going to give a points target. No, we don't. We don't ever do a points target. All we want is three points in the next one. So you know, and next week's a tough game at home. We, they gave us a real tough game at their place, and I expect it to be exactly the same next week. So we've got to make sure. We do what we always do, which is we prepare, prepare as best we can, and uh, and we apply ourselves. Because I thought today was one of them was more mental rather than physical. The way we apply ourselves, and we don't get disappointed with the things like you know one or two. You know we have temperamental players in our team, forward players who can be temperamental. But today they they, they managed it really really well. <coughs> like I said, it's not easy. And when when a pitch doesn't suit a particular team, like it doesn't really suit us really. You know our forward players, our creative players who can't get on the ball and move it they can get frustrated but I thought they didn't they, what they did was they did a real professional job and they did their job and played their part in a really good team performance And you gave a first start to Bradley Williams today how did you think he fared? I thought he was great again not an easy place to come and make your first start um, but, but like I said he's got, he's got all the tools he's had a good school and he's come through the ranks at Cardiff so we know that he can play but it's whether he can transfer that and add it into the game and in the way that we play and I thought, I thought he got up to speed really quick I thought he kept the thing moving really well he shows he can compete he wants to put his foot in so I thought he's, he's had a really good debut today a really good first first game and confirmation of Mike McGrath's suspension how long is that? two games I think so, so obviously we we did try and bring the Peggy one forward to this Tuesday but unfortunately they couldn't do it so it's obviously been penciled in for next week with the possibility of this one being off so obviously but it's not so obviously Mike will miss the two league games how did you, th you think the, the you know, hosts um, I thought they were extremely efficient in the way that they got this game together got a game on with the weather conditions they were, they were yeah they were brilliant I came here yesterday I, I got here about, about quarter to four yesterday and they were just locking up the gates actually and I spoke to their secretary because he asked me if I wanted to buy tickets I said I hope I don't have to buy one to come in tomorrow but yeah I mean and as soon as he realised who I was he said oh look do you want to come in and have a look and I said yeah I'll come in, I'll come in. and the pitch was fine it was, as in it was, it was flat there's lots of grass on it and it, well, there was no standing water Obviously here, I live 10 minutes away, I know that we had, we had quite a heavy rain last night, so you know, I, was, I was a bit concerned, but they've been brilliant. I mean, like I said, they've been great hosts, they've, they've got on with it, they've, the, the, the team have not, not let them down, they've played brilliantly today, they've probably given it everything they can, and I think, I hope, think the fans in there have, have been looked after well in there as well. And for the Hereford fans who are here, it was more entertainment, I think that was the 80th league goal for Hereford this afternoon. That's some record. Yeah, it is. I said, we, we, I said to you before, we, we, I like my team to be a t an offensive type of team, and that includes our defenders. You look at how much our, our fullbacks get on to play and how we play. You know, They probably have more touches in, in the opposition final third they do in our final third, and that's where we want to play. And, and if you play it right and you have the right players to play that way, then you're going to create chances. What you hope then is you hope that you start putting a few of them away. And you know, if you go back over the games... If that is our 80th goal this year, you think of how many we've missed, how many good chances we've missed this year, you know, and we could be way ahead of that. So, so listen, we, 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 when you start at the start of the year, you want to be competitive, you want to try and, and you know, push yourself to the top of that league. We've done that. After that, you look at, well, can we, can we score more goals than anybody and can we keep more clean sheets than anybody? 
we're not far off that have we got the best defensive record in the league at the moment yes we have and, and they're all the targets that you try and aim for and that like I said if you don't try and aim for them then you know, you're always going to sell yourself short and that's why I talk to players I talk to managers and say to them about, about their teams and the way they play against us and I watched them a week before and they were nothing like that and for me that's, that's disrespecting their team and their manager because they should be like that for every single game but it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. But we, I won't let our lads get away with that. We have to be because of the expectation here as well. Is We expect to win every week. And when we don't, we're disappointed and we work on it and we try and put it right. We didn't win three weeks ago and we've bounced back and put three three excellent performances together, I feel. And, and finally, you kept Joel Edwards out today. Was that yeah. because of the pitch conditions being heavier? No, not no, not really. Well, we kept him out just for a rest. I think, you know, I, I think that Ryan had a bit of a rest then Clayton's had a bit of a rest after that. And so I think that, you know, I think it's important. Edgy's had a couple of games off. Obviously, he had to come back involved today because Mike's not was suspended. So, you know, and Joel the same. Joel's the captain of us. He's our captain. And I think he wears that burden quite heavily it's a big burden for it's a big you know big thing for him to be be captain of the club and I think sometimes you know you need a rest you just need a rest and he's played every game so far this year barring a couple so he just needed a rest and like I spoke to him before the game he's disappointed not to play of course he is because he wants to play but but he understands why um, you know and hopefully two two games a game or so if, if we don't need him next week he'll have a rest next week and then he'll come back fresh ref, you know refreshed and ready to go again for the for the running we've got like I said we're down to almost single figures and when we are we'll need everybody to be ready and fresh to go, go again if the game does get played and you select him it will be Rob Purdy's 400th game for Hereford next week against Wimborne um, you must give him credit for the way he played as well today uh, yeah, I think I think since Perz has gone back into the middle of the pitch, I think he's played exceptionally well. But again, that was after a conversation of, you know, of what was expected of him, you know. And I think that he hadn't quite been reaching the levels that I was expecting. Um, and it was a case of look, when you go back in the middle of the pitch, this is what this is what we expect you to do. And I think in every game he's played since then, he's been fantastic. So, you know, like I said, it is a big lamb, big milestone for him. 400 appearances for any club is is a big thing. Obviously, there'll be those that say that we're not the same club. We're a different club now. But listen, 400 appearances for for, for Hereford, I think, is is something that, that should be applauded. And hopefully, like I said, on the day he'll perform well if he plays, and and we get three points, and that'll be the best the best reward for him. Thanks for your time. No problem.